is desire and passion desire genuine godly desire and passion please everything i'm saying here is tied to the kingdom not everyone is going to see a vision about his wife and it doesn't mean you are not spiritual say amen now look up not everybody is going to see a vision you were just standing and all of a sudden you saw this welfare lady cooking and god says arise arise why sitest thou here go and take your position he said nay lord but i am weak and god will say no 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 you are not weak if that's what you are waiting for you may be disappointed god can plant a genuine passion listen please you are a worker in the house right faithful worker I'm not talking of careless you are not contributing anything to the kingdom of god and you want to reap every harvest that others are working for you, you must you must genuinely participate in kingdom building ah one day suddenly you find out genuine desire please remove loss from it you see that ah you notice that there is an unusual desire and passion for patience come patience unusual desire now watch this when this happens brothers it's too early many of you don't have self-control once once you feel anything you land it till the lady lands it back at you be be temperate don't just say let me ask first though before another person will come and ask you don't know whether she's in a relationship you don't know whether what you just go and disgrace yourself the lord told me you are the one she says sorry we're getting married next week and you carry you, you you now feel stupid you feel irresponsible a word spoken in due season ladies shout due season there is a due season my brother so god can use a simple godly desire i've seen this lady i i i connect with her in the spirit and over time as you build friendship please bless you many brothers don't even understand the concept of friendship they just come and say stranger you are my wife i will marry you go and pray about it i'll hear tomorrow what sort of nonsense is that it's very rude it may not know it has worked for others but i'm telling you it's very rude you don't walk up to a lady and just say you are my wife pray about it that's bullying especially if you're a man of god or you're a great person don't use position to intimidate ladies is someone learning something tonight desire and passion there are many of us that you find yourself having a godly genuine desire for someone and some of us are very embarrassed suddenly you're embarrassed that somebody you're always praying with ah uh -uh. kai why am i and now you go to pray you find yourself looking at ushers you are trying trying ah and see there are brothers that come here by three o'clock and still sit outside everybody say passion because the person they are waiting for has not come and they say look let me pay that price what is it if this is a cross i must carry i must carry that passion is very good because the day the lady breaks her hand huh or the day they carry out a surgery on her that passion will sustain your love there are many ladies the day something happens to the guy they just turn around as if it's not the one they like he has no asked them out to, they are so not proud of him something as little as running in a football field and it takes last the lady just turned Kai! brother has fall my hands it's too early what sort of what what is your concept of marriage the brother has malaria and he vomits and everybody is looking and you you just start nauseating you are not you are you are feeling so discomforted you are not ready for marriage as simple as that is someone listening to me 
I'm hurrying up because I want to talk on roles and codes of conduct. So a passion. Number two, the prophetic. God has also positioned the prophetic to help the man in locating the woman. The prophetic there means either prophecy or the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life. And please, I must balance this because that's what brought the issue of vision. I saw a vision. I saw a dream. I saw this. Hallelujah. Hold on. Let me use the opportunity and balance something right now. Look up, everybody. God has not ordained you as a spiritual matchmaker moving around and looking at people and say Aaron the lady you are sitting behind whether you see a vision or you have a dream about yourself or somebody else it must be handled with utmost maturity because marriage is a great mystery are you getting my point now you can go and meet an innocent lady and tell her do you know that I saw my man looking at you and all of a sudden it becomes an artificial desire especially if it falls at a point in her life where she's vulnerable ladies you know what i'm talking about right and then at that point all of a sudden this lady now begins to tie herself and maybe let's assume my man is even minding his business with another lady is someone getting what i'm saying please be careful when it has to do with giving people prophecy don't stand with utmost authority and look and say i have seen it if it does not happen god didn't call me and the lady is waiting then she sees the guy's invitation card La, what's the name Aaron. Le Pose. and the lady is now wondering oh god what is going on this is my husband here leaving me oh lord and people engage in all kinds of skills and spiritual activity in a bit to recover back the kingdom does not leave us to confusion don't you on another hand neglect the place of the prophetic there are so many people I've seen in my dreams and visions way before in fact when I saw it they did not even know themselves even me when I saw it I was surprised and by the hand of God God came and connected them you know why I'm saying this when it comes to marriage even prophecy can change so when you tie people you now look and say kasham stand up it's a tall guy one day he will sit down two seats close to you write it down his name is Adria. if you miss him you have missed your husband five years kasham is still going around hoping Adria, where are you Adria is planning his wedding are you getting my point aaron now comes and says uh -uh, it's Adria. they told me Adria. fair Adriel. Any dark guy that comes, uh -uh. I don't want the guy is fair. Kasha will sit forever, no husband, because somebody injected a wrong prophecy into her. Are you getting what I'm saying now? There are many of us who may be sitting down right now, the way we are. Wrong prophecies, wrong prophecies. Please be careful. It must be discerned and balanced carefully listen to me listen it was God himself that appointed Saul to be king is that true it was the same God that now rejected Saul as king true or false it was God that appointed Moses to take God's people to the land flowing with milk and honey did God tell him he will not get there later on it was the same god that stopped him so be careful that you saw a lady in a vision is no guarantee that you must marry her there are many factors that might, may, must come together alignment are you getting my point there is alignment there is what parental approval and all of these other factors for others maybe tribal differences or whatever it is there are factors together so it doesn't just make it work automatically please get this revelation if you don't get it you are going to fool yourself into error however under a guided atmosphere of the word and spiritual maturity prophecy can be very powerful hallelujah prophecy 
can be powerful in helping you understand your spouse number three please play mike divine connection just like that no vision no nothing divine connection for instance we now give come for me md just gives them a song to score together he's doing his work as md but the spirit of god come on now the spirit of god vetoing worship team rehearsal i'm not much making i'm just giving an example hallelujah and in the course of the rehearsal they have a course to discuss about life and they find out that there is a connection in ideologies all of a sudden feminine supernaturally starts having credit favor that's god cooperating with the event to happen somebody just sent one five whereas they wouldn't have sent one five every time you pray towards that relationship taiwo now wants to go and eat by two but she's delayed to go by four the only seat left is the seat where femi is sitting everybody said divine connection oh it happens absolutely it happens they've been inviting you for koinonia for how many years suddenly 2014 god just brings you they say turn around and hug one another and goodness could destiny it happens say it happens your wife is an usher now say amen very happy sitting down smiling and see the wife blushing are you getting the point now let me tell you something in the house of god your wife is there in the house of god sister your husband is there the bible says he that lives by the altar should eat by the altar i'll say it i'll say it by the end of today we'll turn around and greet one another you'll just greet one another and say oh god open my eyes with this corporate anointing open my eyes the bible says he broke bread and their eyes were open alas the sister you have been seeing every day the lord tells you son of man the season has come Aaron was moving around and he went to prayer band while the sister was praying God was saying just serve just serve Ruth you will soon go to Naomi's vineyard and serve do you know many of you because of your marriage God took you from you got 200 and something they didn't give you admission there God relocated you and brought you in a season everybody said divine connection that's how we meet destiny help us that's how many of you gave your life to christ you were strolling around and you had a preacher preaching you just said let me enter and listen to the message divine connection and you met destiny that's how some of you came to koinonia it's one of the principles in fact let me tell you the truth it's one of the strongest ways that couples are connected together serving in the house of god so as you pray, you say, Lord, connect me divinely.